Dr. C. Omic's office. How can I help you? Hi, what are you doing calling me at work? This is really unprofessional, you know. You spend all day jumping from job to job. I have a career. Sorry, sorry, I take it back. I'm just stressed. Yeah, let's go out tonight. That sounds nice. I've got to go. My 10.30's here. All right, I'll see you later. Love you. Would you like to come in? Take a seat, guys. Uh, actually, uh, can you sit on the right? I'm kind of used to being the one on the left. <laughs> okay, fine. Thanks. I do love you, you know. Mm, yeah. So, Batman and Robin, I believe you've reached a stumbling block in your relationship. Would you hear to outline what's happened? Well, I spend a lot of time crime fighting against the scum of Gotham City. Oh, give her a medal. So, I've not really been as attentive as I normally am. Well, to be honest about it, I, I don't actually get why we're here. Well, isn't that just us in a nutshell? He is not being attentive and he doesn't get why we are here. Story of our lives, really. What do you mean, Robin? It's all about you, isn't it? No one else gets to look in. It's all about the Caped Crusader, the Dark Knight, etc., etc. But we are a partnership, aren't we? You know, we are the dynamic duo, after all. Oh, don't patronise me. I'm not patronising you. I'm sensing quite a bit of tension in you both. Um, Robin, why don't you tell us your side? Well, where do I start? I am sick, sick of living in his flaming shadow. All everyone goes on about is Batman, the great crime fighter of Gotham City, but no one gives two hoots about Robin, my boy Wonder. Oh, it's not like that at all. And another thing, he puts his work before me. You work with me! Don't change the subject. One night off he promised me last weekend, just one night. We had a Chinese takeaway delivered and started watching this really intense documentary on Netflix. RuPaul's Drag Race. Anyway, we were ha watching it happily, but he started staring out the window every five flaming minutes. He was like a budgie. I was watching the bat signal. You know me, I have to stay alert. You were bored, just admit it. Bored of me. You think so little of me. That's not true. You're my partner. Mm, let's see, shall we? It's your bat signal, your bat mobile, your bat cave. Oh, not this again. Hang on a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me let finish. Let Robin finish. finish what he's got to say, Batman. Okay. Go on. I'm finished now. Thank you, Robin. It sounds to me like Robin feels like he's not part of your life, Batman. Is there any gesture you've offered to Robin to make him feel appreciated? Well, I, uh, I gave him his own motorcycle and his own shelf in the Batcave. Wow, last of the big spenders. Well, I'd give you another one, but you'll only fill it with those Yankee candles that stink the Batcave out. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go again. Even Alfred says you're being petty. <gasps> Don't even begin to bring Alfred into this, you brute. So don't you be starting anything. I'm not starting anything Our here. Lord and Master is at it again. No. I'm Batman. Listen, I don't have to listen to you anymore about this. Oh, whatever, now. whatever. Get whatever, up with it. Whatever. It seems we have touched on a few things here. Now, I must Speaking say... Speaking of touching, ask him, ask him about Catwoman. Oh, don't bring her into it. I keep telling you, nothing happened. Oh, please, you flirt with her like crazy. She parades around here in that little leather number. You wear your best bit of rubber and you turn into a pair of teenagers. Ugh. She is a criminal mastermind. I have to bring her in. It's my job. Ooh, a likely story. Well, if we are going into the gutter... Let's bring up you and Aquaman. <gasps> what did you just say? 
You go weak at the knees every time he rocks up with his muscles and very tight shorts. When he appeared at West Shore Beach, I'll say Clan Dudnall Wells, you couldn't get to him quick enough. We have a bit of banter and a bit of a flirt. There's nothing wrong with that, and you know full well that he's in a long-term relationship. <laughs> oh, you're clearly not bothered by that. Guys, we're falling short of time here. We can continue this in our next session, but for now, what do each of you want from this relationship? Well... What I want, what I want, what I really, really want, what I really, really want more than anything in the world is my boy Wonder at my side. That's all. And all I want, strong hands, strong hands, all I want is to be there by your side. Oh, and my own seat in the Batmobile. It's a custom-built car, Robin! I can't exactly go to quick fit and oh, say, Hey, man, kick me out go. another seat here for me other here half. The footage will go viral like that. Oh, whatever, whatever. It's all oh, yeah, yeah, for just, you. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever, 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 whatever. Shut whatever. up! Um, excuse me, mate, but uh, we're kind of in the middle of something here. Sorry, guys. This is my date, Spider-Man. He is very, very early. I told you to wait. Sorry, love. I was shooting me webs out like, but got bored after an hour. Here, I webbed us some monster munch from the off aren't we? You like your roast beef, yeah? What on earth did you see in him? What can I say, guys? I always fantasised about going out with a Marvel guy. <clears throat> we'll pick this up next week. You can see yourselves out, yeah? Yeah, lads. Spies a man by name. You get what I mean? Batman does. Laters. Oh, someone's sleeping in the bat cave tonight then. Will the dynamic duo be able to escape from their domestic situation? Will the Batman find who won RuPaul's Drag Race? And will Dr. Siamic finally accept that Spider Man is just a wall jumping bum? All these answers are more on next week. I'm going solo! Oh, I guess not then. Farewell, the listeners! <laughs>